keeping up with my agility grind. 75 done, I can now go to the Priftinus course. But before we go there, I just want to say if you want to join my Discord, the link to that will be at the top of the description. As always, hope you guys will enjoy the video. So I've already done this course now for a while and I've got halfway to 76. But I'm going to do this now for one hour as efficiently as possible because I've been kind of AFK doing it. And I want to see how much experience per hour this is if I try hard all the time. So I'll be back in one hour and let's see the experience rates per hour. So pretty much done a one hour now and I've gained 55,000 experience and that is 57,000 experience per hour. So I guess I've done like 57 minutes, 58 minutes or something like that. But that is some really good agility experience I would say because the other course that I did, the uh, Hallowed Sepulter or however you uh, pronounce that, not sure, was like 45k per hour and that is way more click intensive than this is. I can just click here and... Uh, it's very chill, so I am definitely going to do this course at least until level 82. That's when I can do the fourth floor on the Hallowed Separateur. I'm I am going to mispronounce that every single time, just so you know. Uh, but uh, maybe at that point it is going to be better experience from that area, we will have to see. Just barely missed it, but 76 agility just achieved, you can see right there. And for one level now, I do need 139, roughly, thousand experience. And that is with the hourly rate I had before, two and a half hours. So it is kind of slow still, but it is not extremely slow. In my last video, I did ask you guys what boss you would like to see in my next video. And a lot of people said Callisto, so I'm actually going to do a bit of Callisto. My current KC is 51, and actually the only thing I miss is the pet to complete the entire Callisto collection log. Of course, the Dragon Pickaxe and the Dragon Two Age Sword are shared loot tables with all the Wilderness bosses, so I didn't actually get these from the boss. I think I got the Dragon Two Handers from Vetion, and I got the Dragon Pickaxe from the Chaos Elemental, though this ring is of course unique to the boss, and I got it extremely early into killing Callisto. And the pet is 1 in 2000, so there's an okay chance of getting a pet, depending of course on how many I kill. Let's get into it. Callisto is definitely way scarier than Venonatus that I killed in my last video, because it is at 43 wilderness, I'm safe spotting it. And it is also multi, so if I get PK'd here by a team, I am literally just dead instantly. But I'm only risking 200k, so if I die, it's not the end of the world, but hopefully I don't get PK'd all too much. Okay, so that is pretty unfortunate. The exact moment I got a kill, uh, a PK logged in. So if I log into the world now, I actually... Oh, that is so annoying. I don't even know what I got for loot. Uh, but I think I used roughly like 150 charges in my bow for one single kill. The defense level of Callisto is insane. And in terms of either how expensive a one kill is, was like... 25k so I have to get some pretty decent loots but I think Callisto is 100k per kill on average value so I should be making my money back as long as I don't die all too much. I've waited uh, just a bit and this is going to be probably the riskiest thing I've ever done. I'm going to log in and he probably knows that I'm going to log in again because uh, I wanted to loot the boss and uh, if I see him there I'm going to have to log out so quick but not even sure I will be able to react in time, but uh, if I die, uh, whatever, it's how it is. Let's just see if he's still there. He is still there, of course, and he took my loot also, I guess, so that is uh, not the best outcome. Uh, I don't actually think I'm teleblocked, so if I just run here, I should be able to get away. I uh, just need to get, like, two more levels in. Okay, well... That was not the uh, scariest of PK ever, but I didn't even get my loot, so that kind of sucks. A kill that I can actually loot. Let's see what we get for the first one. How much is that? 25k Chaos Runes. Decent, I guess. Not one of the best drops. So first trip is a 5 kill trip, and uh, I got nothing for the last drop. That is... <laughs> That is unfortunate, and how much did I actually get for 5 kills in total? 246k, so not that great first trip, but the second one might be better. Actually a slightly longer trip this time, for some diamonds and rubies at the end of it. 
7 kills this trip and uh, I also turned on player indicators so I can actually see their names on the minimap whenever they get close to me. Way easier to not get PK that way. And let's actually check 7 kills for 516k loot. Definitely a better trip. It's actually pretty insane how slow this boss is to kill. Let's see if uh, I'm going to hit at all uh, during this clip. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. And I've used pretty much 150 charges just during this kill. I actually hit there, insane. Uh, let's actually have a look, 246 charges and I started with just below 400. By the way, these guys are just some glory runners, so I'm not really scared of those. But uh, yeah, I have 99 ranged. This is my range setup with pretty decent range bonus, I would say. And it still takes sometimes like... I would say 100 minimum charges and up to 200 on the slower kills. You can see now it takes such a long time to kill this. And this is going to be kill number 21 whenever it dies. Uh, yeah, this is going to take quite a lot longer than my Venonatus killing. This kill took me 40,000 GP worth in ethers and probably like 20k in restore pots. So let's see if I get 60k loot back. Wow, pretty much uh, just made all the money back that I spent on that kill. Okay, so this is the first time in quite a while I got PK'd and uh, I'm not going to lose that much. I'm going to keep all the valuables and I think that was my third kill of the trip. And I didn't really get anything too great, so yeah, I didn't lose too much. Probably like 300k. Now, I've done 31 kills and the average loot is, let's see, 47.8k and 1.5 million total. And uh, I am not really that fond of this boss. I do prefer Venonatis way more. This boss is in a way riskier area as well as it takes three times pretty much the length to kill. It is insanely slow to kill. And the loot is the same. So it's kind of demotivating to kill this boss. So I'm going to be done here. I actually got to 83 KC from 51. So, we got some KC at least on this boss, and uh, now I have some decent experience with it. As usual, getting some Corrupted Gauntlet done. First try, successful. Let's see what loot we get. First loot is some average drops. Back to back completion for nothing. Actually, very smooth runs today, and uh, let's get third reward. That is really bad. I actually had a few bad runs, only like two or three though, so uh, let's see what the fourth completed run is going to give us. That is a lot of runes. I would say I'm getting pretty good at this. I've done five completions now and only two of them failed. So I'm going to do 10 kills in total in this video and after this chest that I open now, I'm going to do the five loots really quickly. So let's just see what I get for the fifth loot. Decent loot. Kill number six. Kill number seven. Kill number 8. Kill number 9, only one more after this one. And we get... Ooh, Dragon Halberd. That is a pretty good drop. I actually want to see how much that is worth before going to the last one. 400k, not bad. Let's see what the last chest is going to be for kill number 10. Hopefully something decent. Please don't be Mithril Arrows. That would be nice. Ooh, that is... Ay, ay, ay. That is not good. Oh, just barely over 100k. So I have over 100 KC on every single God Wars boss. You can see here Kriara, Krill, just 100. Actually very good drops there from uh, Kri uh, Krill during the 100 kills. And then for the Commander Siliana, I have 228. Except for General Grador, that's the giant mole. 14 kills. And I actually think it's really tough to solo General Grador and that is the main reason why I only have 14. But I saw that the Justiciar gear is actually so cheap right now. Look at this, 48 mil for the full set is insanely cheap. So what I'm actually going to do, now that I also have the Blood Amulet of Fury, which is super good there, is I'm going to buy the full set by selling my current loot tab. And I'm going to show you guys how much that is currently worth. It is 56.4 million. It's quite a lot of money, so I'm going to sell all of this and I'm going to buy the Justiciar set. I also have 14 mil already and I'm going to get into some General Grador and hopefully we can get some nice loots. 
and here we have it, uh, Leo please go away. Uh, this is the setup I'm going with, very very tanky, look at this, 450 slash defense, 447 stab, everything is over 450 pretty much, and I still have a very good strength bonus as well, I have the blood amulet of fury for self-healing, ring of suffering, so many nice things, and a BGS for the... Uh, Defense reduction on the boss, which is more consistent than the Dragon Warhammer, but it does lower the defense by a bit smaller amount. But it is still very good. Nice voice crack. Let's get into it. So it looks like I'm going to get a 4 kill trip if I can actually kill the boss here. Last time I did the boss solo, I got uh, 2 kills in 1 trip. So definitely better, and also I was really really unlucky with my uh, BGS specs. I actually only hit like 2 of them, and I used maybe 8. So, yeah, I was very unlucky on that part, but 4 kill trip is alright, I would say. And by the way, I know that there is a magic way you can stay here for a very long time, but it is very risky and I'm not sure how to do it, so I don't want to actually try to do it right now. I'm happy with doing it this way and hopefully we can get some kills done. The ads was actually destroying me this time, but uh, I'm, I'm actually still getting destroyed by these minions. They were doing so much damage, I only got a 3 kill trip that time. It uh, is a very tough boss to solo when you're not good at it. So meanwhile I'm farming more ecumenical keys, I would love to ask you guys a question, would love to hear what your thoughts are in the comment section below. If you want to see more God Wars bosses in general in this series, meaning I should complete the Hard Wilderness Diary so I can have 5 ecumenical keys to do it more efficiently instead of 3, or if you guys would want me to do, for example, Chambers of Seric, more raiding content for those big ticket items, I can definitely do Deathless Run fairly consistently now, and I have a bigger budget so I can have even better gear to make it easier than the last time I learned uh, Deathless Runs. So I would love to hear what you guys think about that in the comment section. It's going great at Grador, I'm at 30kc now, but I saw that there was a system update and I actually wanted to look at what it is going to bring, and it is going to bring a nice update to the Hallowed Sepulchre, which is that uh, I'm going to read it off. You can buy a Hallowed Sack for 100 Hallowed Marks that is filled with loot worth 100,000 GP on average. Now, that is not a massive amount because getting 100 marks takes quite a while. I'm going to see how many I have. I have 59 now, so that is a, a decent start, I guess. But I'm going to get to at least 100 and maybe I'll get 200 and I'll open some bags and just to see what type of loot is in there. Maybe some of them are worth like 50k, maybe some are 200k. It's going to be interesting to see and the big thing about this is that if you had previously bought all the things from the store, all the hallowed items, the graceful recolor, the recolor to your uh, squirrel pets, there was nothing to use your marks on at all. So if you're only in there, past 99 for example, and you just want to make some money from the Ring of Endurance that is worth 65 mil and that I want to go for in the future as well, I can use all the marks that I get from that grind into bags of 100k loot which is going to be very, very fun to open. And of course, here it is, the Hallowed Sack, 100 marks, I have 85 right now, I did some before the update came. So let's get some marks and buy a couple of these. Because I still actually need most of the things you can buy in the shop, I'm going to buy two of them only, I don't want to waste too many of the marks. And you can see here on the right side I made almost 900k by just looting the chests. And I should in theory get 200k from this. So it is definitely just some small extra money. So let's get these open and see what are actually in them. First one is... Oh, there's a lot of items. It seems like you get stuff that are usually in the chests. And most of this was actually from the lower end. Some few serums are worth quite a lot right now. So that is probably most of the money. Yeah, 63k put everything in 93k, close to 100k, and um, let's see what in the second one, some other stuff, but nothing too great, pretty much all of the money comes from the Sanfew Serums, I guess, I'm going to assume you can get rune items from this as well, because that's what you can get from the chests in general, some Raynor seeds, and I guess that's the valuable stuff, and the Sanfew Serums. I actually don't want to drag out this video for all too long, I already saw it was 14 minutes, so I'm actually going to end it here. This video I am not including the boss tabs, I'm going to do that every third video, so every third video you will see my updated KC on all the bosses in the game, 
and I think that will be better and not as repetitive. But uh, if you want to join my Discord, once again, the link to that uh, is at the top of the description. Also, thank you guys so much for the amazing amount of likes and comments on my past two videos. Really, really appreciate the support. So if you want to see more of my content, you can click any of the videos on the screen right now. Remember to leave a like if you did enjoy it. Subscribe if you want to see more of my content. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Take care.